The Avengers was a show that I loved. And uh, in a way, you can sort of see a little bit of the similarity between Mulder and Scully and uh, John Steed and Emma Peel. At the very beginning, not sure many people know this, but I was meant to walk a few paces behind Mulder when we got out of our cars, when we were going up to a house to expose our FBI badges. I was meant to be a few paces behind him as he walked up the steps to the house. You think, well, you've got to be kidding me. That was the antithesis of the character that Chris Carter created, which was this um, young woman with incredible chutzpah. And eventually, over time, it just became natural that um, we reached the front door at the same time. Even though Mulder is really the sort of hero in the show, it's really Scully's point of view uh, in which the stories are told from. It's the skeptic's point of view. It's the rational point of view. She's a medical doctor. She's a scientist. She's a forensic pathologist. She's sure of herself. I, her, her belief about the world of the paranormal or, the, or extraterrestrials or whatever it was, it was just, it was not real. There was no question about it. You don't honestly believe this is some kind of an extraterrestrial. This is somebody's sick joke. I'm not crazy, Scully. I have the same doubts you do. People talk about the 90s and the paranoid 90s. The fallout from Watergate, the fallout from the 70s and 80s was still apparent in the 90s, and we were still distrusting of our government. At the base of, of these two very uh, different, very disparate characters was, you know, ultimately a desire to get to the bottom of something, to get to the truth of the matter. We are interested by the Don Quixote characters who have great passion, great drive to do something. And against all odds, they, they proceed toward their goals. I think that is always going to be interesting to an audience, whether it was back in the 50s or the 30s or 3,000 years ago or today or tomorrow or 1,000 years from now. It's over, Scully. Well, you have to lodge a protest. They can't. Yes, they can. What are you going to do? I'm not going to give up. I can't give up. Not as long as the truth is out there. We saw them, despite their differences, drawing closer and closer together uh, to the point where they were each the only person that the other could trust. There was something very romantic about this platonic, mostly platonic duo. I always said that the secret to The X-Files was simply this, Mulder loves Scully and Scully loves Mulder. You know, just the image of seeing them in their two different apartments on opposite sides of town. What it did is it developed this, um, this longing. It added to the desire for the two of them to come closer together in that loneliness. 